Call of Duty Mobile has been exploding and today it just released the new Zombies mode. I've already given you guys hundreds of tips and tricks on this game, but today these tips and tricks are coming from the best player in the entire world. As many of you probably know, I'm doing a series where I interview the top five players of each game type in Call of Duty Mobile. In this video, I interviewed Elias, who is not only the number one player in Battle Royale, but has remained the number one player much longer than anyone in the multiplayer category. Elias is incredibly talented, but more importantly, he is incredibly smart. Elias' first tip is that when you are parachuting, to wait until the plane gets as close to your destination as possible so that you can dive almost straight down. This will allow you to get to your destination much faster than those that parachute early and try to glide to that same area. I asked Elias what were his three favorite places to land on the island and he responded the farm, the farm, and the farm. Ironically, I normally discourage players from landing at the farm, but that brings us to Elias's third tip to always play with a good team. At the farm, you will end up running into a lot of good teams, so you need to make sure that your team is better, or else you will end up dying early and losing points. Elias can get away with landing at the farm because his team is pretty much always the best team. After I asked him again, he did recommend the dock as a second option, which I think is a smarter player for those of you who aren't quite as good as Elias, but if you find yourself dying even at the dock, then I would recommend watching my PUBG Mobile video, which emphasizes a more survival-based playstyle. But part of the reason Elias likes the farm is because after killing all of the teams that land there, he likes to use his knife to kill Cerberus, so everyone on his team has level 3 armor and some good attachments. Elias' favorite class is the mechanic, and he uses his drone every time he enters an area with a lot of hiding places, so that he is never surprised by someone waiting for him. He also says that he likes the ninja class, but almost never plays anything besides the mechanic. As for his teammates, he prefers to have scouts, healers, and defenders on his team, but doesn't really care that much as long as they're good players. As soon as Elias lands, the first thing he looks for is a striker. The striker is a fully automatic shotgun and is arguably the most powerful close range weapon in the game. Of course, he can't always find a striker, so he often uses the BY-15 in the meantime. Time. Meanwhile, Elias is also looking for an M4, which is his favorite mid-range weapon. He also says that he likes the AK-47 when he finds more of that type of ammo. If Elias has a really good team that he can trust, he might switch out his striker for a sniper rifle to use for the last half of the game. Elias likes using helicopters from time to time, but since he knows that they're dangerous, as I explained in my advanced tips and tricks video for this game, he never actually lands them. Rather, he uses them to get to the destination that he wants, and then everyone on his team glides down while the helicopter falls and explodes. This allows his team to get to the ground faster, and it is also safer. I learned from Elias that if a team works together, you can shoot down a helicopter really easily with normal guns. This is very satisfying and happened quite a bit when I was playing with him. Another thing that we did quite a bit was chase airdrops, but not really to get a lot of loot from them, but rather to kill the other teams that were drawn to them. That being said, even though Elias likes killing Cerberus and chasing airdrops, he says he always tries to avoid the zombie area because even though they drop good loot, it is hard to kill them without exposing yourself to other enemy teams. I played as the airborne class so that I could get better footage of him playing, but one of the things that I noticed when jumping with him is that he always landed next to the side of a building so that he was never out of cover. I also noticed that when he chases enemies, he usually goes around the building and jumps through a window to kill them rather than going through the door that they were expecting him to go through. He is also constantly moving. He is moving side to side, he is often jumping, and I've noticed that he even likes to lay down in the middle of a fight. Elias is able to do all of this because he plays with claw settings on an iPad like almost all of the pros. He has also spent a lot of time carefully adjusting his settings so that they perfectly match his playstyle. Here are screenshots of all of his settings, but remember to keep in mind that these settings are set for an iPad. If you do not have an iPad nor the money to buy one, one, but you want to play at his level, I'm going to be making a video soon with a very cheap way to give your phone the functionality of an iPad. One setting that he did not include here, but I noticed it in the game, is that he has his character set to pick up a lot of smoke grenades, which he uses every time a teammate gets downed, or even sometimes when he's just healing himself in the middle of a fight. One of the strangest things about playing with Elias is that even at the legendary level, Elias predicts that half of the players are bots. This made it to where half of the players 
players were much worse than me, and many of the other half were much better than me. Knowing which type of player that I was going up against made a huge difference on the outcome of that battle. Luckily for me, our team did a great job of pointing out real players as soon as they saw them, so I almost never got surprised by them. After realizing that there are so many bots, even at the legendary level, I realized that means that getting to the top has almost just as much to do with grinding as being good. In the rare instances that Elias dies, he says that as long as his teammates get to fourth place, he won't lose any points. That being said, in the six games that I played with Elias, we got first place six out of six times, and Elias almost always got more than 10 kills, most of those being other legendary players. He never hugged the radiation zone or even camped. He just plays smart and wreaks havoc wherever he goes. Furthermore, because he was so good at making callouts and talking me through tactics, I felt like I was actually playing better than I normally do. Oh, Jeff, watch out, this full team. Guys, go to the number four. He has... Okay, move now, move, man. Move, 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 Jeff, move, move, move. If you want to watch Elias and I playing live together, make sure to check out this video on his YouTube channel. I've also put a link to that video in the pin post in the description of this video. When you check it out, I hope that you also subscribe to him. He only has 600 subscribers on his YouTube channel, which is sad considering that he has been the number one player for over a month. Now, he's not a shroud type player that will wow you with unbelievable shots at long ranges or a Chaco Top that does a bunch of impressive challenges, or even a JCF making high quality tutorials, but rather he is just an incredibly well-rounded player. He uses smart tactics, he is good at shooting, he is awesome at throwing grenades, he is a talented driver, he is a considerate teammate both in actions and in calling out where enemies are, and he doesn't mind grinding for rank a lot. So I'm subscribed to Elias because he is an awesome player and I think he deserves a lot more than 600 subs. So I hope you guys go and subscribe to him as well. Even if you don't support his videos, I think that it is the least we can do as a Call of Duty mobile community to support the number one player in our game. Elias grew up in Syria and moved to the United States seven years ago. He's a really friendly guy and I think he deserves our support. Well, that's it guys. Hope that helps. Please remember that it is difficult for me to get traction when I start covering a new game, so liking, subscribing, and sharing my Call of Duty Mobile videos makes a huge difference. Also, if you are a top 5 player in Call of Duty Mobile Multiplayer or Battle Royale, and you would like me to make a video like this featuring you, please contact me. I have put a link to my Discord below. I will do all of the work. You just need to answer my questions. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.